In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to cut the part as shown here by creating a surface offset and a ruled surface from the split line face. So first I'll control tab back to my other part. And then what I want to do is go to the surface ribbon and tell it I want to create an offset surface. And I'm going to select each of these faces. So I've selected the four faces I wish to offset. I'm going to make the amount 50 thou, and I want to offset into the part, so I'm going to reverse the direction, and I'll say OK. To see that surface, I'm going to expand the solid body, select it, and hide it. And now all we see is the offset surface. So next, we want to cut the part out, so we need to make a ruled edge that will come out of the part. So we're going to do a ruled surface, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to make the ruled edge normal, or perpendicular to the surface. I'll make its distance a quarter inch to make sure it clears the whole part. And then for my edge selection, I'll choose this edge. And I might need to keep going all the way around, or I can clear my selections. And I can right click on the edge and tell it to select the open loop. And it'll get all the edges, and I'll right click and accept that. Now, if we want to use this to cut the part, we can only cut with one surface, so we'll need to knit these together. So we'll use the knit surface. I'm just going to window select everything. And with the gap control on, I can see I do have these really small gaps. I can shut it off if I want, but I would rather it heal all these gaps. So I'm going to leave that on and say OK. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add a fillet to this part. So I'm going to select fillet. I'm going to set my size to 20 thou. And then when you select one edge, again, I would use the selection manager to get all these virtual left face 11 edges. And give it a second. I'll right click and accept that. I'll say OK. And then I have my new surface, which is called fillet. It always renames it with whatever the last command was. And I want to cut the part with that. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn the visibility of the body on. And I'm going to tell it to cut with this surface. I'll select this surface. And then I have to look at which way the arrow is pointing. Because I want to remove the material on this side. If it's going the wrong way, I can flip it. So again, I'll rotate around, have a look at it. Or if I cut it the wrong way, we'll give it a second. I kept the wrong part. That's OK. Like any SOLIDWORKS feature, I'll just select it. Edit the feature and flip my cut direction and say OK. It's recalculated it. This time I'm going to hide the surface body. And now I've cut my part using a surface. And then the next video we'll do the same thing down here with this surface.